Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we are going to be working on the interior of the 7.3. We are going to be putting a new radio in first, so let's get right to work. I've never taken a radio out of a uh, truck before, but I looked up some videos. I bought these little radio removers or stereo removers. You slip them in these holes right here, push them in real good. Same with this side. Then you just have to wiggle it back and forth. Okay, didn't have them in there all the way. Let's see if I can get them in there. Click them in there. I'll get back to you after I finish this. Okay, well, I got it pulled out. It took a lot of power. I just yanked on it really, really hard. The next thing I have to do, take out the back clips back here. You're gonna make sure you do not break these because we will be using these again. That's one on the left side. This is the one on the right side. They're also gray and black, that's how you know. And then your antenna, you pull out right here. And I also heard from someone that you're gonna be needing this piece to hang it back in there so it doesn't droop in the back. So I will be trying to figure out how to take this off without hurting it at all. All right, there's just a clip in here. You can just pop it off. So we're going to go inside, unbox the new uh, radio, and we'll see how that goes. All right. So here is my wiring harness. I have everything um, straight wrapped, wrapped in. Here's the gray plug, the black plug, and those will plug straight into the existing ones. This is my radio screen. It is a 10-inch Boss audio system radio. That is the single den that it fits into. It just snaps in. And I have already installed the little clip on the back. All I did was I modified a little bit, drilled the hole through it, and then bolted onto this bolt. This radio has two camera inputs, a rear and a front camera, microphone input, and then Apple CarPlay and a uh, regular USB port. So since it has the USB and Apple CarPlay, I'm going to be removing this cigarette lighter out of the ashtray compartment. And I will be installing this USB plug in there. And then I'm going to be making a phone holder right here where the USB or the uh, ashtray is. And then I also have the microphone that it came with. Not sure where I want to run that just yet. But whenever I get this thing done, I'm not going to snap it all the way in because I don't have the reverse cameras. So I can just take it out and reroute the microphone whenever I need to. So let's get started putting this thing together. Okay, so I have got the USB port installed, as you can see here. It is part of the ashtray. And then I ran the USB ports, or the plugs, up here. And they are going to plug into the back of the radio. So the next thing I need to do, run the um, microphone. I think I'm just going to run it out here. Maybe, I don't really know I'm going to run it right now. I know when I finish I'm going to run it up there somewhere. But for now, I just want to run it so it works. So I'll probably run it into here, or run it up here and stick it by my dash. So let's get that thing wired up. Okay, so now that we got all the wires ran, minus the backup cameras since I don't have those, we are going to start plugging stuff in and see if this thing works. So this is for Apple CarPlay. I'll be completely honest, I'm not sure which wire goes to which i should mark that before so hopefully this is the bottom one you know i'd like apple carplay to be the bottom one and then this is just the regular charging usb port so we'll get that thing plugged in there's those two the next thing we need to plug in is the microphone which is right here plug that in all right that snapped in real nicely the radio which is right here will go in after i plug this in this will be all my controls and everything. That's in my speaker inputs. Snap that in real good. All right. And then we have to get all this stuff back in there after I plug the radio in. Okay, radio's in. All right, let's get this stuff pushed in here now. Out of the way. As much as possible. Okay. So. That wire off the top of that. Get this thing. 
it in here just like that. And I got my stuff in the way. Okay, let me get these in the way right here. There's a lot of wires going into this area. I wish there was a way I could tuck them away. Eh, maybe, maybe I can push them down here farther. Oh, there we go, maybe. That's better, that's better, a lot better. Okay, let's get that thing tucked in here, just like that. Nothing in the bottom. We're not gonna push it all the way in. Like I said, I don't wanna have to snap it out whenever I put my reverse cameras in. So we are going to slide the screen on and uh, I'll have to go put the battery on because it says to do all this while the battery is off. So before we do that, we will slowly peel off the sticker. Get this thing plugged in. Okay, here we go. Gonna turn the uh, ignition to on. Lights lit up. Okay, that's that's good so far. Uh, if, if the music's playing, I'd turn it down because it's copyright. But hit agree. Hands free. Oh, yeah, all right, so that works. That's the radio. I need to turn that down because that's annoying. Uh, that really loud beep is how it um, how it sounds off. Can't do Apple CarPlay, USB streaming. Um, that's Bluetooth is streaming. You can also change your colors down here in settings. You're gonna have to turn out, figure out how to turn up that beep. I'm sure it's under here somewhere. Loudness amplifier. Probably under general. No, can't can't tap general. Oh yeah, you can tap general. Okay. Um system tone? I'm assuming that's what that is. Okay, that's system tone. Okay, so we're good now. Uh you can change your colors down here. I don't know if I've said that or not. A V N. You can do um input so you can plug in a you know HDMI cords and stuff into the back of this thing so you can watch movies and stuff when you're not driving. You can also hook up video games like an Xbox or something to it. Uh, home. It is a little laggy, I'll be honest. The cameras are your reverse cameras. Don't really know how you cycle through these, but I'm assuming there's a button where you can cycle through front and rear. But yeah, overall, it's a very nice setup. It was uh, $300 actually 280 or $98. I bought it off of Walmart. You can buy these on Amazon too. I just figured I could take it back to Walmart if it did not fit here because I was not, I was kind of scared it was going to hit on the uh, trim right here, but it looks like it will clear it just right. This is the 10.1 inch screen. If anyone was wondering, you get smaller, of course, but um, yeah, very happy with it. So let's get on to the next thing. Now that we got the brand new radio installed, we are going to be installing a steering wheel cover. So let's get this thing on there. And the cover is on. Uh, this cover has this brown trim. It's kind of a wood grain trim. Kind of matches, not really, but it still looks good. I really like it. I also really like the color of it. I am thinking about painting the rest of the gray trim in here. Same with the door panels, uh, back seat panels, everything like that. That same color, I think it's called taupe, not positive. And then I'll also be replacing the seats in here because the seat I'm sitting in is shot. There's a, let me get out real fast. There's a bar back here and it just hurts every time you sit here, it just hits you. So I'll be replacing the seats. I might be going with uh, some like captain seats or uh, something like that just to be a little bit different. And I, like I said, I'm gonna probably put custom uh, seat covers on it and everything like that, so. But that's gonna be a wrap to this video. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.